Are you on Facebook? No, I'm not. I'm probably the only person within 500 miles of here that isn't. <laughs> I want to spend my life riding horses and and uh, and doing my deal and getting better and and I just. I don't begrudge anyone else for doing it, but I don't want to be a slave to that because I'd have to give up something else in my life to make time for it. And, and that's why a lot of times I'll get emails from people and I just tell them I'm sorry, but I, I, I don't want to spend my life answering emails. Come see me and I'll talk to you till you're tired of talking. And I'll ride with you till you're too sore to ride anymore. But I, I'm not too interested in computers and and all that stuff. It's a necessary evil to me. And if I if I do any business on my computer, I can't wait to shut it off. So how often do you encounter uh, really negative force issues like the one documented in the last part of the film? And well, almost never. That horse was sort of an anomaly just in the fact that that it was it was a horse that in nature wouldn't have even lived. And and the fact that he had suffocated when the mare died and, and he had basically died and they brought him back to life. Well, when they did, they ended up with a horse that started out with brain damage. And so that would have made it a very difficult situation regardless. Yet at the same rate, if, if he had been treated like you might treat a handicapped child, a mentally handicapped child, you could have systematically taught him right from wrong and taught him some things to where he could function in the world. And, but you know what? He did serve a purpose, as sad as that story was. And the purpose in it that I've found is that, and I know it's true because I've visited with people in New York City, San Francisco, Seattle, everywhere that weren't necessarily horse people, and they got the point to this, and that is, that whether you're going to have horses or kids or dogs, with that comes a responsibility. And the responsibility is not just to feed them and put a roof over their head, but to teach them right from wrong and teach them how to get along in the world. And, and I'm so pleased that, that the audiences for this film have, they did take that message away. So, frankly, I think that horse probably has accomplished more in his short life than a lot of horses would that maybe got to live a long life and die of old age. So who are your heroes, Buck? Well, Ray Hunt and Tom Dortz were a couple of the best men I ever met, and, and Bill Dortz as well. Bill was Tom's brother. Those three guys were, were such mentors to me and uh, all I've ever wanted to do with these horses is, <clears throat> is to make them feel like I was heading in the right direction, that I was, that I was doing what they'd intended for people to do with horses. And, and now they've all three passed away, but they're still heroes to me nonetheless.